doubling back our uh, the route we planned on taking to the lake to the put in uh, the road was closed so we're having to double back and take another way we slept in this morning <laughs> alarm went off at six and it just wasn't happening uh, our original plan was to get up and get put in right at daylight so we weren't fumbling around in the dark but it worked out to where now we're going to be getting in the woods when most hunters are coming out or have already left and hopefully that means they'll be up and on their feet a little bit more wanted to show you guys something it's pretty cool where we're at it's a whole lot of longleaf pine savanna type habitat which is exactly what an endangered species of woodpecker needs the red cockaded woodpecker or rcw and all these pines with uh, white bands painted around them are cavity trees because uh, unlike most pet woodpeckers they make cavities in living trees so it's cool to see them out here. Oh, yeah. What's the news, pal? Well, it's the road to the put in. All right. He said he's seen a little old four point this morning. I heard him say that. But it don't do it for him. As many years he's been hunting, he said it got to be a man. Well, you know what that tells me? There's a four point out here. That needs to be shot. It does it for me. <laughs> And we are finally on the water. We're going to be taken out at that point straight ahead and walking all the way up that hill. To the top there, there's the little saddle between two of the ridges. Just like what we were hunting. Uh, on the other side of the National Forest in Okmulgee. Sit still. Could be a buck with her. Officially hunting. We are on top of a ridge where some uh, mixed hardwood meets uh, some open understory pine. Uh, if that makes any sense, I'm kind of tired. Didn't sleep much last night. But anyway, right before we got to this tree, we across the ridge. Right there. She ran off up the hill. I believe she was better down.
happened to you? Three time. Should have been four time. State champion, powerlifter. Uh huh. That was uh. the hardest thing physically I've ever had to do in my entire life. <laughs> we paddled 300 yards. Yeah. <laughs> do you need a help? A helping hand? I just need to lay here for a minute. Okay. Do the thing. Well, I'll be. Yeah, I was pretty hungry. She's a woods girl. People forget. All right. We uh, sadly don't have any footage for you from this morning or really any news other than we didn't see anything. Uh, it was kind of a repeat of the afternoon, except we didn't see anything so yeah went out of the spot on the WMA and found a really good good spot we kind of came down a ridge into a, a bottom and kind of just sat right there in that transition there was uh, some planted longleaf pines up there that went into a, uh, a hardwood bottom so we just sat there on that transition this morning and I don't even think we saw a squirrel this morning. I saw two birds. Yeah, they saw a couple birds. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's part of it, I guess, you know, hunting new areas, but the trip as a whole was definitely a success. Uh, it's good to get out of the house, get away from work for a few days, and just, just be out in the wilderness and just just get away from it all. Nothing like it. I'm gonna have to take this deer. <laughs> 